Hello dear students, we are going to begin with our first lesson from the book First Flight, that is A Letter to God. It is written by G. L. Florence. He was a Mexican writer, poet and a journalist. And he has given a lot of contribution for the Mexican Revolution and its effect. He was basically a witty writer. As in this lesson, we will see the ending of the lesson is ironical. And I hope you all know what does it mean when I say ironical. It has some element of what we are expecting, just it turns out to be just the opposite of it. So let's begin with the lesson. I'm sure in our, li in our lives we would have come across a situation or we would have landed up into a situation where we see no solution, where we just kneel down, raise our hands up and we think of God. We just hail to God. As the situation is now, we all are locked down in our houses and we all are praying together that we come out of this situation successfully. Similarly, in this lesson, the author talks about a protagonist that is the main character of the lesson. He is a farmer. His name is Lencho. And we all know that, you know, farmers, they depend on rains for their crops. His crop is full grown and is waiting for it to be reaped. So his wife calls out and he, she says that, Lencho, come inside, the dinner is ready. And, you know, Lencho looks up to the north sky and he predicts that the clouds are coming and it is going to rain soon. So the wife replies, God willing. So the rain does come. But... In some time, what happens, it turns into a hailstorm. And this destroys the entire crop yield for Lencho. Lencho is devastated and he feels that how he is going to feed his family, how he is going to survive. So he just thinks of God. He thinks that God has sent this rain, he has destroyed the crops. Now he is the one who is going to get him out of this dreadful situation. So he thinks and finally decides to write a letter to God. That is why the name of the lesson, A Letter to God. So he writes the letter asking the God to give him 100 pesos. So we're going to use this word pesos for currency which is used in the lesson. So he asks for 100 pesos so that he can, you know, law, last for one year. He can take care of his family, their food and everything. And he can even buy more seeds to sow the crop for the next year. He writes the letter and he just goes to the post office and he addresses the envelope as God. When the one of the workers in the post office brings the letter to the postmaster, addressed as the God. So the postmaster thinks that uh, this is something strange and he decides to open the letter and read. And what he finds and he's surprised and he really thinks that this man has a lot of faith in God. And then the postmaster, being a very sensitive person, he decides that he is going to help Lencho. So he collects money from his friends, his employees, he donates some from his own pocket, but he's able to man manage only, hundred, only 70 pesos. And he closes the envelope and he just signs as God. After a week, Lencho comes to the post office again and he asks if there is any letter addressed for him. So the workers in the post office, they gave him the letter and he is not surprised to receive this letter. So this shows that he had a lot of faith in God and he was very, very sure that he's going to get an answer from God. So he opens up the letter and he sees only 70 pesos. You know what children? He then thinks in his mind that God cannot do this. He had asked for 100 pesos and God would definitely have sent 100 pesos but it would have been these people working in the post office, the postmaster and his uh, team. They would have taken away the remaining 30 pesos and had given him only 70. So this story doesn't end here. He writes another letter complaining about the 
people in the post office and he asks God to send the money directly to his account and not through the post office. So children, that's what I said in the beginning that this is an ironical lesson. So you see the irony? Now I'll explain you what is an irony. The people, the postmaster who was such a sincere, simple person, sensitive, he was the one who helped Lencho by collecting money and giving it to him. And at the end, he was only blamed that he was a thief. He had stolen the money sent by God. So that's it. We'll end here. Now, I want all of you to kindly read this lesson and I'll come up with uh, an assignment and I'll upload it soon. Thank you so much.